chapter 9, <coughs> verse 1. Praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will, I will show forth all my marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice Amen. in thee. I will sing praise to thy name. Hallelujah. I will, I, thou, O thou most high. When my enemies are turned back, turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anyone have a song request? start writing for him. It seems like it alleviates stress and strain and, and when I start serving the Lord closer and closer, he'll wake me at night and give me part of a poem and then maybe on through the week when, and, and things and I'm just desiring for God to deal with me more on that. And I'm also this year desiring if God will to teach me to sing, send somebody my way to teach me to sing. You know, I can raise my hand, praise the Lord, I'll stomp my feet, hallelujah. You know, God inhabits with the praises of his people. Amen. And, you know, uh, I came from a family that could sing, my mom and dad could sing. But my mother told me, she said, you'll never be able to sing. But, you know, when I sing, I sing to the glory of God. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 So it doesn't make any difference. I just want to glorify the Lord, and I want to thank you. It's, it's an opportunity to be in the house of prayer this morning. I mean, it's each and every one of you, and I thank God that he's brought me through another year. And as I look back, I think of the things that he's brought me through. And I remember the many, many times that he's carried me, there was only one set of footprints. And I just want to give him praise, honor, and glory. I, like the other day, I was coming across the St. Albans uh, Nitro Bridge and head up toward Nitro, and I got stopped right like, there across railroad tracks. And I looked up, and there was some houses there, and I looked up, and the sky was so blue. I said, oh, Lord, I just love you. Amen. So, you know, I went to church on Wednesday night out at the Mount Tabor, and, and Pastor Jim was free and says, does, does, does anybody ever tell the Lord they love my heart? Hallelujah! Yeah. And I thought all of them was going to just jump out of their skin, but nevertheless, <laughs> this is something Jesus gave me. One day as I started barefoot down the street, I thought of my Jesus and his nail-scarred feet. Now thinking of my Jesus, I could almost see his nail-scarred hands, too. Then suddenly I heard a whisper to, to, to my soul, he did it all for you. My mind begins to wander back to the days he was crucified. I remember as he hung on the cross, the words, it is finished, and he died. Jesus' precious blood was shed at Calvary, Calvary that day. As it echoes from the cross, I could hear him say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Not only forgave the very one that beat, knelt, spit, and killed him, but through his sacrifice, he saved me and you. Tears began to flow to the ground like rain. Because of Jesus, I'll never be the same. I know Jesus loves me, as we have all sung, but he is, and he is my father, and he sent his only son. I hung my head and began to cry, because now I can see the blood flowing from Jesus' side. I began to pray and thank my Savior and my Father above for giving 
us, the world, his unmerited blood. Amen. 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 Bless you, sir. We have How Great Thou Art, Sister Gail brought for us to sing. So let's, won't we all stand and sing How Great Thou Art? Our Lord is mighty and great. The Bible says, O Lord, Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Amen. O Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power
sister just said right there. She said, I thank him for saving my soul. You know, our soul is precious to God. And that song that we just sang there says, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Now, folks might look at one another and they would say that the, the things that are different about one another, that's your personality. But I say it's your soul, Hallelujah. amen, that's inside amen. of you that makes you precious amen. to God. Amen. And this is what God says about our soul here. It says, hear this, all ye people, give ear all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, 
rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of my hills shall come past me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth forever, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. You know what? The redemption of my soul was precious. Amen. Amen. Uh, that, hallelujah. It couldn't be bought uh, with God. silver and gold. It couldn't be Praise bought God. with corruptible things. Uh, it was bought with the blood yeah, of I Jesus mean, Christ, yeah. uh, my Lord and Savior. Uh, and the Bible said there that it ceases forever. Uh, that means it was paid once uh, and it can't be paid for again. Uh, hallelujah. I say uh, he's bought me with the price of his son's blood. Amen. I'm so glad to have eternal life with Jesus, my Savior. Hallelujah. Our soul is precious to God. And I'm so glad that he sent his son to be our Savior. Amen. He is my Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Well, let's sing a song. Praise the Lord. Let's see here. How about victory in Jesus? Victory in Jesus, blue. amen. 92 and blue. Yeah. 
And remember, Domsey, he's doing better, but he still needs your prayers. And I suffered at the doctor that they took a prescription up, and he was two old people there, a man and woman, they got talking to me. And, and uh, not, I'm not saying this for what I said to them, but I just, I try to let my light shine no matter yeah. where I'm at. Yeah, sure. right. And uh, when I got ready to leave, well, that man told me, he said, you be good. I said, I'm always good. And he right. said, well, how did you do that? I pointed up, uh, I said, God, God. Amen. God's the one that makes me, helps me be good. And he said, well, that is really good. So I just <laughs> hope my light can shine more and more to yes, other yes. people. Thanks for being in the I have a brother that's in and out of the hospital all the time, or most of the time, and he's having problems breathing this morning, but said he wasn't going to the hospital, so pray for him. Our most kind and heavenly Father, we're thankful today for the love of Jesus Christ. We're thankful for what he does in our lives. We're thankful for what he does in this church, Lord. God bless each and every request we have here tonight, Lord, today. If we have so many. God bless each, each and every, every request. Help us to be better people, better Christians. Give us the strength and ability that you would have us to have, Lord, to be stronger, to be stronger in Christ. Stand out and, and show the world that how what God does for us, our relatives, our sons, our daughters, the ones that don't know the Christ as we do, Lord. Stand by them. Give them the ability that they we have, Lord, to come to you, to be better people, better Christians. Lord, watch over us as we go now into our service. Be with our pastor, Lord. He brings the word to us. He be with Robin, Lord, as she is only a, a sister-in-law. Numerous ones we have here that need prayer, Lord. God bless each and every one of them. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. You made the way where it seems like that there's no way. God, you give us so much, Lord. And God, help us not to ever take you for granted, God, because all good things come from heaven. And God, we just love you this morning. We want to come to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. And just to honor you, Father, with our songs, with our tears, with our heart, with whatever, Father God, that we can do, Lord. Just to show you, Lord, that we love you with every fiber of our bodies, Lord. Just give us the strength, Lord, to take it outside these walls. And Lord, I know I've been calling religious fanatics, Lord. And God hear me so bad when my family did that, Lord. But God, I'm sorry that I gave up because I was being ridiculed over you, Lord. I I know now you had plans for me, Lord. And I'm sorry that I ever backslid on you, Lord. God, give me the strength to go forward. And I thank you, Lord, for every word you've written upon my heart, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for my Christian family, Lord. That they don't care if I drive over, Lord. They love me just the way I am. And you know, Father, that's the way you love me. You made me the way I am, and you said that I was wonderfully made. And God, if you said it, it is a fact, dear God, every word that you say from Genesis to Revelation is true. Dear God, help those this morning on the bed of affliction, Lord, and those that are lonely this morning. That maybe someone would go and visit them, Lord, and just, just, just spend some time, Lord. There's things that we can do, Lord. We can use our feet, we can use our hands, Lord, to be a blessing to you, Lord. And America needs to start blessing you, Father, and if you bless in America, God, we need to start blessing you. Dear God, I pray for this nation, Lord. I pray for 
Israel, Father God. Dear Lord, the times are going to get worse than they are right now, Lord. I know we're living in the end times, Lord. I can feel it, dear God. And I know that trumpet's going to sound just any time, Lord. And dear God, that's the sound I want to hear. But dear Jesus, dear Jesus, there's so many lost out there. And I know, Lord, when that one, Lord, that you're dealing with, wherever they're at, when that one comes in, Lord, that you're waiting on, because, Lord, I know the thing that the Bible's been fulfilled, and I know that you can come at any moment, just like a thief in the night. But, Father God, we came here this morning to thank you, Lord, yes. for, for changing our hearts, Lord, and washing us, Lord, in your Son's blood, and, Father God, for being the one great Jehovah. Jehovah God, there is none like you. We give you praise, honor, and glory this morning with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 something sad but you know I can rejoice and that the sinners take notice amen amen, amen. I can take I can rejoice I rejoice in that that a sinner took notice and saw that because the word of God will accomplish what God pleases amen amen it will accomplish what God pleases and to see a sinner say anything about what they've seen on there to me I rejoice because amen the the word of God has Move them to amen. do something. Amen. The Word of God has caused them to say amen. something. And amen. Uh, I want you to know that God will take out of the mouth of babes amen. and He'll steal the enemy and the avenger. Amen. amen. God has power and He uses children to do that. And I thank God for that. Amen. amen. I thank God. Praise His name for that. Amen. 
songs in there. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Would you like to get that and send that? You're in the blue book. What number? 170. Oh, yeah. 
Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B I E Bible. Okay, we have it here, 169. Only believe, only believe, all things are possible.
Glory Amen. Land. Amen. Yes, Lord. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. I'm thankful, amen, this morning, uh, knowing that, amen, Jesus has prepared a place for us, just like we uh, read there, and you know, sang there in uh, 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 Victory in Jesus, uh, that he has went to prepare a place for us. As he told us in John 14, that uh, uh, Jesus told us, he says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. amen. Uh, there's many folks who will recognize, say that there's a God, there's a lot of folks that will say there's a higher power. Uh, folks that will say different things like that. But Jesus says without... With the, uh, the one man came to Jesus and he says, Good master, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, Why callest me thou good? He said, There is none good but one, that is God. He, in other words, if you're going to call me good, call me God. Amen. Jesus wasn't just a man. Jesus wasn't just a teacher uh, uh, come from God as Nicodemus called him. He was God in the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I'd go and prepare a place for you. Aren't you glad that Jesus went ahead? Amen. Aren't you glad that Jesus, hallelujah, that eye hath not seen and ear hath not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The things that God has prepared for them that love Him. But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. Amen. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God inside of us reveals what heaven's going to be like. It reveals to us and shows us the splendors, amen, that awaits us in glory land. Hallelujah. Just over in the, It's not a long way away. Right, it's God. not a long way away. You know what David said? David says there's just a step between me and them. Now you can look at that and think about it as a negative scripture. But amen, if you're saved, you can look at it like Paul and say, oh, for me to die is Christ, to live as Christ and to die is gain. Amen. Just a step. It's just over in the glory land. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Isn't it good? Isn't it good to be saved? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, uh, we just celebrated New Year's, and I'm thankful the Lord has brought us through another year. Amen? And I'm thankful the Lord has brought us through another year. And uh, I, I was thinking there, there yesterday, uh, or the day before, uh, you know, about how that uh, if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for Jesus, uh, I believe I'd be in hell. I really Amen. do. I believe that I would be in hell crying out, please don't come to this terrible place of torment. I believe that with all of my heart, but I'm glad for Jesus. Oh, yes. I'm glad, amen, that, uh, to be able to wake up each day yes. Yes. and that God gives me the breath of life each yes. day. You know, God watches over us while we sleep. He that keepeth yes. Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. God's right there when you're amen. sleeping in the yes. midst of the night. Yes. Isn't that wonderful, Praise amen, God. to know that He watches over, that His thoughts toward us are more than could be numbered. Yes. They're greater than the, net, than the sand on, in the sea, amen. The thoughts toward each of us individually that God has for us. I'm so glad for that. Amen. Now, uh, a lot of folks around New Year's uh, like to make resolutions. Do you know that? Yeah. A lot of folks like to make resolutions. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna exercise this year, yeah. or I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna quit eating all those bad things. Some people might say, Well, I'm gonna quit drinking. Well, some people might say, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit cursing. Some people might say, well, I'm going to quit smoking or I'm going to lose weight. Some people might say, well, I'm going to save more money. I'm not going to blow so much money this year. But you know what, brother? The Bible, the Bible speaks against those kind of things. It does. It speaks against those kind of things. You know that, that, that everything that we need in life is in the Bible. Amen. It's in God's Word. God has thoroughly equipped us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He doesn't just halfway do something. Amen. God does things right, doesn't he? He does. Hallelujah. Amen. Look with me if you would. We're going to look at a couple different scriptures this morning at the book of Colossians. Colossians. At Colossus where uh, Paul was uh, uh, had written to Colossians chapter 2. And we're going to look in Colossians chapter 2 and then we're going to go to 1 Samuel. The book of 1 Samuel. I love the book of Samuel. I like to read about David. When Rusty asked about what's your favorite thing in the Bible, I love to read about David. I really do. You know David is, is mentioned in the Bible more than any other person? His name is mentioned. Amen? More than any other, uh, next to the Lord. 
David's name is he's, he's mentioned in the Old Testament, and he's the last person mentioned in the, in the New Testament. Amen. Isn't it amazing, hallelujah, what the Lord can do with a man after God's own heart? Amen. Look with me, Colossians chapter 2. The Bible says in verse 20, Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ, what's he mean right there? If ye be dead with Christ, you know when you're baptized, it's, it's brother, it's, it's like that you died to that old man. Yes. That old man was crucified yes. with Jesus. That's right. Amen. Paul said that I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Nevertheless, I live. Amen. So he says, and wherefore, if you're dead with Christ, from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances? Now, ordinances are laws. Those are laws. He says, why as though living in the world are ye subject to these ordinances? T touch, touch not, taste not, handle not, which are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. That's what this New Year's resolution stuff is. That's a doctrine of men. Amen? Yeah, yeah. That's a doctrine of men. He says, which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship. Will worship. That's an interesting term right there, will worship. That's taking and saying, well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna control my will and I'm going to quit this drinking. I'm going to quit this cursing. I'm going to attend church more. I'm going to read my Bible more. I'm going to uh, save money. I'm going to lose weight. That's will worship. It's saying that I'm, I'm taking control of my will. So he's saying here, he's saying in humility, neglecting the body, not in, in honor of the satisfying of the flesh. So there are those who will neglect their flesh and they call that worship. But brother, I want you to know that if we are going to be resolute about any one thing, if we're going to make a resolution, the resolution that we need to make is that we are going to get serious with God. Hallelujah. That is the resolution that we need to make is that we are going to draw nigh unto God. Amen. Amen. Forget all these other things. Amen. Because Christ uh, has power uh, over all. Amen. 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 Draw nigh to Jesus. Put Jesus first. Amen. Put God first. Amen. Amen. Worship Jesus. Amen. 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 Don't worship these other things. And say, well, I'm going to do it. Because, brother, when you go to do it in your flesh, it's not going to last. Right. It's not going to last. Nope. Glory, hallelujah. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. Aren't you glad that you're so weak? That you can't do it. That God will do it through you. Yes. Amen. Now unto him that is will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. According to the power that worketh in us. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above whatever you even think. Amen. Amen. According to the power that works in us. Paul said there in Romans chapter 1 in verse 15. He says, as much as in me is, I'm ready to preach. That's what Paul said. He didn't say as much as I'm able to do. He didn't say as much as I am. He said as much as in me. He said as much as in me is. How much is God? God's everything, isn't he, brother? Hallelujah. God's everything. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. Amen. He's all present. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. He's all present. Amen. Glory be to God. He's omnipotent. God has all power. When Jesus rose from the grave, what did he say to his disciples? All power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. Glory be to God. Amen. We'll worship. Amen. Don't fall for that. <laughs> Don't fall for that. Look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus, amen, is where our power comes from. God Almighty is where our power comes from. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm thankful for that this morning. I, I, want, I want to read what Ray Ray read. Uh, what a blessing it is. It says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Amen. Amen. 
Our sister, I was listening to my sister's prayer, and you know it's all right to listen to one another pray? Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to agree with you in prayer. Yeah, you, know. you know how I know that it's okay to listen to somebody pray? Because John listened to Jesus pray. In John chapter 17, and he wrote it down. Aren't you glad that John listened to Jesus pray? Woo, glory, hallelujah. I was listening to my sister pray, and she said, God, I pray that America would bless you. Amen. I pray that we would bless you, God. Not you bless us, but let's bless you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. What did the psalmist say? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name, I tell you. Amen. Yes, Glory be to God. He says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Amen. He says, I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. I tell you that glory be to God. Nobody can stand in his presence. Amen. 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 Even the strongest of men Amen. are going to kneel. Kneel. And they're going to bow. Amen. And they're going to say that Jesus Christ is Lord. Right. To the Amen. glory of God the Father. Every Amen. knee is going to bow. Of things in heaven. Of things on earth. And of things under the earth. Amen. Are going to bow to Jesus. Even the meanest, most wicked spirits and demons and devils. Are going to bow at his presence. Oh, yeah. Hey the 2,000 demons that possessed the man legion. When Jesus came and he saw him. He trembled and he fell before Jesus. And he says what has thou to do with us. Thou son of the most high God. Have you come to torment us before our time? They trembled. They trembled at the presence of Jesus. Glory be to God. God has the power to overcome any enemy. Amen. God has the power. Let's look, if you would, at 1 Samuel chapter 7. <clears throat> 1 Samuel chapter 7. What a blessing the Lord has given us His Word. <clears throat> before we uh, before we go into God's Word, uh, let's, let's all bow together in prayer. Father, Lord Almighty, we praise you, Father. Lord, we thank you for the name of Jesus, Father, that his name is above every name, Father. Lord God, we just praise you that you came to this world, dear Lord God, that you were made flesh, and that, Father God, Lord, that you dwelt among us. And, and Father God, Lord, I'm so thankful that it was expedient for you, dear Lord Jesus, to go away and to send back your spirit to live inside of us. For, Father, uh, we would be defeated if it had not been for your spirit, Lord God, that lives inside of us and gives us strength and, and boldness and courage and, and the power to overcome uh, the enemy, Father. Lord, I thank you for that. And, Father our God, I pray that you would take your word and, Father, you would accomplish that which you please, that you would send it forth, Father, and feed us your sheep, Father. And, Lord God, we'll give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, my Father, and amen. amen. When we look at the book of Samuel, we can look at the beginning, and it's such a blessing because we see here a woman uh, that is barren and she's not able to have a son. And she begins praying to God with all of her heart. And she's praying so hard uh, that she begins, she prays so much uh, that, brother, she uh, uh, begins uh, to just sit there and move her mouth. She is so tired and so weary of praying that God would give her a son. Uh, that she's not even able to, uh, to make sounds anymore. That she's just moving her lips. And the priest thinks that she's drunk in the Bible says, uh, but she uh, has poured out her soul before God Almighty. And I tell you that God hears the prayers of His people. I'm so glad that God, uh, oh hallelujah, I love the Lord because He has heard my voice. Amen. That's what the psalmist said. I love Him because He's heard me. Hallelujah. I waited patiently for the Lord and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. And He brought me up out of a heart set my foot upon a rock. Amen. Oh, Hannah prayed that God would give her a son. And she said, Lord, if you'll give me this son, uh, glory be to God, I'll dedicate him all the days of his life to you. I'll give him to you, Father. Amen. Glory be to God. 
And hallelujah, sure enough, God gave her a son. I tell you that God delights in, th in doing things that are impossible for man to do. Hallelujah, there's miracle births all throughout the Bible. Amen, how that Abraham and Sarah, Sarah were in their old age and not able to have a son. How that Hannah was unable to have a son. How that, uh, that, that, that Zacharias and Elizabeth couldn't have a son. And Zacharias wasn't able to talk because he wouldn't believe. But as soon as he wrote down that his name uh, is John. Uh, God loosed his tongue. Uh, hallelujah. And he praised God. Uh, and how God came uh, and conceived in the womb of a virgin uh, and brought forth his only begotten son. Uh, where God in the flesh came to this world. I tell you God uh, delights in the impossible for man. Amen. He delights in making it possible. Hallelujah. God gave Hannah a son and she dedicated him Amen. to the temple. Dedicated him to serving the Lord God Almighty. And from the time that he was a little boy, he grew up in the temple and do, doing the things, learning the ways that the priests would do in the temple. And glory be to God, one night the Lord came and spoke to him in the night when he was all by himself. I tell you, the greatest experience you'll ever have with God Almighty is alone when it's quiet time, when it's between you and God and it's fellowship with Him on high. I tell you that in His presence, His fullness of joy at His right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Brother, you can be laid on your bed and dance before the Lord, I tell you. Glory, hallelujah, amen. And brother, glory be to God, the Lord called to Samuel in the night. And He said, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel came into Eli and he says, did you call me? Yeah. And he said, uh, uh, well, no, I didn't call you. And he turned and he came back and he says, uh, hey, he heard it again. And he, well, did you call me? And he said, no, I didn't call you. And then Eli realized it was the Lord that was speaking yeah. to Samuel. Yeah. And he said, it's the Lord, Samuel. You just talk with the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. Listen, I tell you, it's wonderful amen, to talk with the Lord. It's wonderful amen, just to hear his still, small voice that speaks in our heart. Hallelujah. And tells us and comforts us of his love and his grace and his favor and his mercies that are everlasting. Glory be to God. He gave Samuel a prophecy about Eli, that there was wicked men who were in the temple. Wicked, uh, these wicked uh, 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 sons of Eli uh, that were uh, 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 doing things uh, that they oughtn't to be doing in the congregation of God Almighty. And I tell you uh, that there's pleasure in sin for a season, uh, but be sure your sin will find you out. Uh, and God uh, will not be mocked for what a man sows. That will he reap, brother. Amen. And it came. It came through the mouth of a little boy. Yeah. The prophecy that would happen. Amen. The Bible said there, and it goes on and it tells us how that Eli, he that he fell off the porch and broke his neck. Amen. Amen. The Bible goes on and tells us, it tells us about how that the people of Israel at that time were worshiping false gods. They were worshiping false gods. You know, brother, uh, Glory be to God. Uh, 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 the, the Bible tells us here about how that they were, uh, that they had fallen back and they had backslidden and that they were worshiping these false gods and then the enemy came. Listen, if we don't have God in our hearts and in our homes and surrounding us about with songs of deliverance, it is an open, you are an open vessel for the enemy to come into your home, to come into your church. And brother, he will try to oppress you and bring you down any way he can because he wants to make a fool out of God. That's right. He does. He certainly does. He will focus on the weakest link and try to disrupt God's plan. He certainly will. He will certainly, brother, and glory be to God, the Bible said that when the Philistines came and they gathered themselves uh, together uh, against the people of Israel, the people of Israel uh, knew that they weren't right with God. And they went to Shiloh and they took the ark. And they brought the ark out to the war with them. Mm -hmm. Listen, brother, I want you to know this morning that there's no amount of religion that can save you. Amen. 
Amen. There's no amount of symbolism no. that can save you. Amen. Brother, you know, sitting in a church uh, and no more makes you a Christian Amen. than being in a garage makes Amen. you a car. Uh, uh, brother, uh, glory be to God, uh, you can carry crosses around, you can have symbols of fish, uh, uh, you can carry your Bible, but those things, brother, uh, are symbols, uh, they are tools, uh, hallelujah, uh, that equip you uh, for being in fellowship with the Most High God. Amen. Amen. It's His presence. He is the one amen. that fights. Glory he God. is the one that saves. Amen. He is the one, amen, amen, that delivers. He is the one It is His presence and not the symbols of His amen. presence. Amen. Brother, I'm so glad that God has given us the Bible. Amen. But this book, holding this book, reading this book, does not save me. No. Believing, no. mixing, and mingling the words of God with faith, uh, hallelujah, through the grace of God, uh, is what saves us. It is the seed. Amen. This is the seed that Jesus spoke of. This is the seed that God spoke of in Genesis. He said, I'll put enmity between Satan's seed and the woman's seed. And that is the seed uh, of God's word. Hallelujah, what Peter said, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. Hallelujah, this is the seed of the conception of the Holy Ghost inside of us that we are born again by. Amen? Glory be to God. Hallelujah, it's more than just a book. It's more than just words. It's more than just a symbol. It is the Word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Folks, thank you because they have a cross that it'll put in their home that'll protect them from evil. It's the cross of what it represents. It's the power of God through that cross. Amen. It's the power of salvation. It's only a symbol. Amen. They brought the ark into the camp. And they thought that that ark was going to save them. Oh, they were excited. Weren't they, brother? They shouted. They shouted. And the earth rang again, the Bible said. But you know what happened? They were defeated. The Philistines defeated them. They were very religious. They had the ark of God with them. They had the ark of God right there in their midst. And you know what the Philistines did? They took it. They defeated them. And they took the ark of God. They had the jar of manna, the broken commandments, and Aaron's rod Amen. that budded inside, covered with the golden mercy seat that dwelled in the Holy of Holies Amen. and God Almighty's presence would come down when they would sprinkle the blood on the mercy seat that covered uh, the broken commandments. Uh, the glory be to God. They took it. Yes, they did. The enemy walked away with it. God's people were defeated because they trusted in religion. No amount of religion, no amount of symbolism can help you. Glory be to God. I serve a living God. Hallelujah. I don't serve an idol made with hands. Amen. I don't serve, hallelujah, a figure of, of, of things to come. I serve the living, almighty, risen Savior. Amen. It's Him, hallelujah, that delivers. My oh, brother, they were, they regretted taking the ark. Amen. Because they went and they sent it before their God. And the next day, they came their God Dagon was bowed down Amen. before that ark. Amen. He was bowed down. And glory be to God, they took their God Dagon and they set him back up on his throne. And brother, they came back the next day and you know what? He was bowed down again and his hands and his head were cut off. Glory, hallelujah, I tell you. Amen, before the ark of God. I tell you, glory be to God, my God is all powerful. There's none like him, Amen. There's no other God besides the Lord God, Jehovah. None. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Bible said that God smote them with emeralds. Amen. Yeah. He smote them with emeralds, brother, in their secret parts, the Bible said. Yeah. Oh, brother, they were miserable because they had, brother, they wanted to get rid of that ark Amen. of God. They wanted another. So they sent it to another Philistine city, and God smote them with emeralds there. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what, God? You know what they did? They had to bring some of their diviners and some of their priests, the Philistines, and they said, uh, 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 what do we do with this thing? Uh, we got to get rid of it. Uh, this thing's troubling us. Uh, amen. I tell you, the God will fight. 
amen for his people. Hallelujah. I'm so glad for how he is. The Bible said that they told him to make golden emeralds and make them as a sacrifice and send them back with it. I tell you, what, what humiliation. Amen. I had to send that back. And glory be to God, we get here to, to, to 1 Samuel chapter 7. Now, brother, the Bible says that the men of kerjath Jerem came and they fetched up the ark of the Lord and they brought it to the house of Abinadab in the hill and sanctified Eliezer his son to keep the ark of the Lord. And the Bible tells us here, if we look up, and the names Abinadab and Eliezer. Uh, Eliezer means that God has helped. God has delivered. And amen, I'm so glad that God delivers amen. and God helps. Amen. amen. The Bible goes on and it tells us, and it came to pass that while the ark abode at Kirjath Jerem, that the time was long, for it was 20 years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. Do you know that it's better to go to the house of house of Sorrow, the house of mirth, that's what mirth means. The house of mirth than it is to go to the house of sorrow than it is to go to the house of mirth. In other, in other words, uh, 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 false or worldly joy. Uh, God's, God tells us uh, there in, in Proverbs that it's better to go to the house of sorrow than it is to the house of mirth. And so uh, the Bible says here that they lamented. And when God gave, God believed so much in, in lamenting that He gave us the book of Lamentations. Amen. That rather than a, that, when a person, when a soul cries unto God, when a soul cries out to God, God hears that. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us about how the two men went to the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The, the Bible says that the Pharisee, brother, he was religious. That he prayed thus with himself. He said, "God, I thank you that I'm not as other men are." that I give tithes of all that I possess. He says, I fast twice a week. And he did all of these religious things, but the Bible says that the, the, the publican wouldn't even lift up his eyes to heaven. Listen. And he smote on his breast and he said, Lord, be mercy seat merciful unto me, a sinner. Be mercy merciful unto me, a sinner. Yeah. And the Bible said that Jesus said that this man went to the house justified yeah. rather than the other. He said, for everyone that exalts himself shall be abased, and everyone that abases himself shall be exalted. Amen. Yes. The Bible says that it was 20 years that the people of Israel lamented. <laughs> Brother, it had been a long time that they had been defeated. The enemy had worn them plumb out. And brother, they were tired. They were tired of being defeated. Have you ever been tired of being defeated? Have you ever been tired of the enemy wearing you out in your home? Amen. Have you ever been just sick and tired of the enemy just plumb dragging you through the muck and the mire and just humiliating the name of God and those that are called Christian? Don't you get sick of it? Yes, the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. They were sick of it. 20 years, the Bible said. The Bible says that it was, time was long, for it was 20 years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. God hears the cries of His children. Amen. Oh yes, amen. 415 years they were in Egypt. God heard their cry. Amen. God sent Moses down to deliver His people. Amen. I tell you, that God will hear your cry. Don't you give up praying. Yes, yes, All men ought always to pray and not to faint. Jesus amen. spoke a parable that there was a woman that came before an unjust judge. Uh, and brother, he, she came to him continually. And he said, let this woman weary me by her continual coming. Uh, I will deliver her. Uh, amen. And shall not God uh, deliver his children. Amen. Uh, yea, I say unto you, he'll deliver them speedily. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't pray. Not, don't stop praying. Amen. Jesus said, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall faith be found on earth. Amen. We need to have faith. Hallelujah. And keep praying. Yes, Lord. Keep on yes, praying. Lord. Keep lamenting. Yes, keep crying to God. Right. Keep on talking yes, to God. Keep doing what God calls Hallelujah. you to do. Don't yes, give up. Don't go back. Don't be that weakest link. Amen. God will use you. Hallelujah. To strengthen the weak. Hallelujah. Bless Amen. He'll use you. To build up his people, to build up and to feed his sheep. Amen. Yes. If you love him, if you love him, yes. that's what he asked Peter. He said, Do you love me? Yes. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yes. Glory, hallelujah. 
And Samuel spake unto the house, glory be to God, that Samuel spake unto the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you and prepare your hearts uh, unto the Lord uh, and serve Him only uh, and He will deliver you uh, out of the hand of the Philistines. Uh, brother, what was the message last week about? Uh, the Bible said that all the promises of God uh, in Jesus Christ uh, are yea uh, and in Him. Uh, amen. Uh, I tell you that that promise right there uh, is a promise from God uh, and that promise in Jesus Christ is yes. Uh, God will deliver you from the hand of the Philistines if you turn to Him with all of your heart. You get serious with God. And God will get serious with you. If you're half-hearted with God, He'll be half-hearted with you. Turn to Him with all of your heart and pray. Hallelujah. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray unto me, I will heal their hell here from heaven and I'll heal their land. Amen. Amen. God hears when we pray. God, God's not interested in half-hearted will worship. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He gave all. Yes, he, did. he gave everything he possibly could in his son Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. He deserves nothing less. Uh, brethren, I beseech you by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. God is not an unreasonable God. Amen. He said, come now, let us reason together. Yes. Saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Amen. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white like wool. Amen. Glory be to God. He loves to reason with folks. Glory be to God. The Bible says that God sent Samuel and He says if you'll, put, if you'll return unto the Lord with all your hearts and put away strange gods. These other things that we try, that we think are so important. These other things that seem to have control over our life. He's saying put those things away. Amen. Put those things to the side. Bless the Lord. Those things that seem to, to, to be important to put those to the side and look to Jesus. Amen. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. Is what he's saying. He says, The strange gods that Ashtoreth from among you, prepare your hearts unto the Lord and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Listen, the Bible tells us in Luke. Uh, chapter 10 about how that his disciples Jesus's disciples uh, came uh, and brother they rejoiced the Bible said that 70 returned again with joy saying Lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name yeah. <laughs> hallelujah now, brother they were excited they were excited because they were going and they were preaching the gospel in Jesus' name, uh, souls were being saved. Amen. The sick were being healed. Uh, amen. Those that were oppressed of the devil uh, were being delivered and they were rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because, brother, they had decided to get serious amen. with God. They followed Him. Uh, and God made them to become fishers of men. Uh, and God's power was working through them and they were excited about it. Yes, Lord. Jesus said to them, I beheld Satan fall as lightning from heaven. Amen. I saw him fall. Jesus said, I was there in the beginning. Amen. You know that there's a Jesus, hallelujah, wasn't some afterthought. Uh, he wasn't somebody that just happened to appear on the scene. Uh, I tell you that Jesus always has been uh, and he always will be. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Amen. Jesus, hallelujah, is God Amen. in the flesh. Amen. He said, I saw him fall from heaven. In other words, he's saying, why do you marvel? I threw him out of heaven. Hallelujah. He tried to rise up against me. Yeah. Yeah. And glory be to God, there was a great war in heaven, the Bible Hallelujah. said in Revelation 12. Yes, yeah. And Satan and his demons prevailed not, and God yes. threw him out. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said, why do you marvel? I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power. Are you sick of the devil messing around with you? Amen. Are you sick of messing around with God? Amen. 
Turn unto the Lord with all your heart. Pray and mean it. Amen. The Bible said there in James last week where we were. He said, pray in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like the wind wave tossed to and fro. Faith not, not, not that man faith that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Pray in faith, Amen. believing. Hallelujah. God will hear your prayer. That's right. He Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Wow. I believe Jesus believed when he had inspired King David to write Psalm 91 when he said that the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Amen. Hallelujah. He shall know my name and shall call upon me and I will deliver him. Amen. God will deliver his people. Bless the Lord. Notwithstanding, Jesus said, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Jesus said rejoice. Hallelujah. Your souls have been bought. You're, you've been paid for. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, I tell you. Glory be to God. And I tell you that the joy of the Lord is your strength, brother. The enemy will try to get you to give up your joy. Your joy no man taketh from you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Peace I give. He says, uh, peace, peace I give, but not as the world giveth. Glory be to God. Jesus gives us the peace that passes understanding. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. No man can take it from Amen. us. That's right. No man gave it to us because it came from Jesus. Yeah, hallelujah. Praise God. It comes from heaven. A thief Thank can't break God. through and steal. And moth and rust can't corrupt it. Because it's anchored in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? The Philistines aren't going to break through, Brother Jim, and steal the ark in heaven because Revelation chapter 11 told me that the ark of the testimony of God is in heaven. It won't be found here on earth. Amen. Because it's in heaven. No thief can steal it. Amen. Amen. That's where it's at, brother. Yeah. Glory be to God Almighty. The Bible says... What happened there in verse 4? Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Ashtaroth, and they served the Lord only. They got serious with God. They got serious with God. I tell you, brother, I can't put it in words. I tell you, when we get serious and we pray to God, and we call out to God with all our hearts. He'll fight the same way that he fought back then. Uh, he's no different today. Uh, brother, he is the same God. Uh, he said, behold, I am the Lord. I change not. Uh, amen. He, Jesus Christ is the same today, uh, yesterday, and forever. Uh, this old world grows wickeder and wickeder. But I tell you, my God is still holy. Uh, he never lies. It's impossible for my God to lie. Amen. Hallelujah. He will do, hallelujah, he did it with David when he slew the lion and the bear, and he'll do it again, and he'll, he'll hallelujah, defeat that uncircumcised Philistine. Hallelujah. He did it before, and I tell you, he'll do it again. Glory be to God. They put away Balaam and Ashtaroth, and they served the Lord only. And Samuel said, gather all Israel to Mizpah. You know what Mizpah is? It's a watchtower. Amen. That's what it is. That's what it means. That's what that name means is watchtower. You know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. I tell you, amen. All you need to simply do is to hide in the secret place of the Most High. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely, surely, hallelujah, surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise of pestilence, God will deliver His people. Amen. And cry unto Him day Amen. and night. They gathered together to Mizpah. And He says, I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together in Mizpah and drew out water and poured it out before the Lord and fasted on that day. Brother, they were serious. 
You want to see how tough a man you are? Amen? In your flesh? Go a day without eating food. Go a whole day without eating food. I guarantee you by a second day, your belly will be grumbling. You'll be grouchier than an old snake. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You'll be calling out to God. God, crucify my flesh. Oh, what a wretched man that I am. I tell you, brother, it's exactly what comes out in our old wicked flesh. Yeah. And we realize what's really inside. Brother, they got serious with God. He says that they gathered together to miss but drew out water, poured it out, and fasted on that day and said there, we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the Lord of the Philistines went up against Israel, and the children of Israel heard it, and they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel, I tell you, it's no different today. Samuel took a suckling lamb, and offered it for a burnt offering, holy, hallelujah, not partially, holy, uh, unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord of Israel, uh, and the Lord heard him. Uh, and as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel, but the Lord uh, thundered. Hallelujah. He's still the same, brother. He thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. Right. Why? Because God thundered. Amen. God thundered. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know how much God loves you? You know how much God loves you? He sent His only begotten Son yes, to die on the cross for you. Yes, you know what happened the day that my Savior died on the cross? Oh, brother, it became dark in the middle of the day. I tell you, it was dark in the middle of the day. And when Jesus cried out there uh, uh, from the, the cross and said, uh, It is finished. Uh, Father, into thy hands commend I my spirit. The earth shook. Yes. And the veil of the temple was rent too. And a centurion, a Roman soldier, said, Surely, surely a sinner recognized and said, Surely, this is the Son of God. Yes. You know how much God loves you today? He'll move heaven and earth. He'll shake heaven and earth to help you. That's how much he loves you. Second yeah. Samuel 22, David. David was rejoicing because God had helped him. David rejoiced. It says, David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, the God of my rock, in Him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death come past me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice uh, out of his temple and my cry uh, did enter into his ears uh, and then the earth shook uh, and trembled uh, and the foundations of heaven moved uh, and shook uh, because uh, he was wroth uh, and there went up a smoke uh, out of his nostrils uh, and fire uh, out of his mouth devoured coals uh, were kindled by it uh, he bowed the heavens also uh, and came down uh, and darkness was under his feet and he rode upon a cherub and did fly and he was seen upon the wings of the wind and he made darkness of pavilions round about him dark waters and thick clouds of the skies through their brightness before him were coals of fire kindled the Lord thundered from heaven and the Most High uttered his voice and he sent out arrows and scattered them lightning and discomfited them. Hallelujah. God 
will move heaven and earth to answer your prayer. I want you to know if you'll get serious with God, if you'll turn to the Lord with all of your heart, God will hear. God will answer. He will pour out, brother, His power and His glory from on high through Jesus Christ, His Son. I tell you, brother, He has given us the victory through Jesus Christ. He has given us, uh, amen, uh, the victory today. Uh, and not, we don't have to wait uh, for a pie in the sky and a sweet by and by. Jesus came to give you life today uh, and life more abundantly tomorrow. I tell you that Jesus, hallelujah, is here today. Amen. Yes, he for is. those that will call on Him. Bless the Lord. When Israel lamented, God heard. God used Samuel to pray. God used a burnt offering that was given wholly to the Lord. A symbol, a shadow, a tithe of Jesus Christ, His Son, that was to come and fulfill the sacrifice for our sin that we might live a victorious life, not defeated, not pushed around by the enemy. Brother, God is looking for us. God is looking for us to submit. God is looking for us as His people to turn our hearts over to Him wholly. And brother, God will do the rest. God will do the rest if we do it wholly and give Him all. He's worthy of all of our praise this morning. All of our praise. If you would, pray with me. Father God Almighty, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, for all that you do, all that you have done, and all that you're going to do, Father. Lord God, help us, I pray, that, Father God, Lord, that you might honor your name. For your name's sake, Father, lead us in the paths of righteousness. Help each and every one of us, Father, Lord, to submit wholly to you. Father, that we wouldn't just uh, uh, be in a voluntary uh, humility of will worship, but Father God, Lord, that we would look to Jesus. And that, Father, that we would be new creatures born of your perfect seed. That, Father God, Lord, that we would walk uh, in that divine Father nature that you have given us, Father. Lord God, that we would walk in the victory, dear Lord God, that you have given us. Lord God, that the enemy would be trampled under feet, just as you did David's enemies. Lord God, when you descended. Lord God, and you became a man. And Lord God, you walked this earth. And Father God, Lord, that you defeated the enemy at the cross. Lord, I praise you. I praise you today for that, Father. Lord, help us, I pray, that, Lord God, that we would look past the infirmities of our flesh and see the glories and the splendors of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that He might work in us a mighty work. And, Lord God, though the work might be hard for us at times, though, dear Lord God, we might grow weary and that we lament and that we cry, Lord God, we know that, dear Lord God, that no chastisement seems good at the present time, but afterwards, Father... Lord God, we know you told us afterwards that it will yield the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Thank you, Father, for that promise. Thank you, Father, for what you have given us. In Jesus' name we all pray this morning. And amen. 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 How about we sing uh, what a day that will be? What a day that will be. Does anybody know what number that is? 24. If you would like to pray this morning, I encourage you, if you can't come to the altar and pray, you can pray where you're at. If you want to come to the altar and pray, won't you come and bow down before Him. If you need God's help, bless you, sister. Won't you come this morning? Give your heart to Jesus. Let Him help you.
Lord. Aren't y'all glad this morning for Jesus? Hallelujah. Aren't you so glad for who he is? Amen. Oh, what a friend. Oh, what a Amen. Savior. Praise God. Amen. Bless oh, I'm so thankful for Jesus this morning. So thankful to be able to worship with every one of you. I wish I would give you a hug all at the same time. I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you. I tell you, the Lord truly makes us descend in heavenly places. Amen. And I'm so thankful for my brothers and sisters. So thankful for the children. Amen. Oh, it was such a blessing for us to teach in Sunday school this morning. Hallelujah. I tell you, God's got great and mighty things in school Amen. Yes, for Lord. his people. Yes, Glory Lord. be to God. Amen. Amen. Without him, I could do nothing, but through him, we can do all yes, things. Lord. All Amen. things. Thank Glory you, to be to his name. Thank you. Anybody have anything you want to say for me? Amen. Come on up. Let's praise the Lord. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Brother Jim, would you lead us, please? Praise, praise the Lord. For his mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord. For his mercy endureth forever. Praise the Lord. For his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Amen.